That same day, two of the followers were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. And as they walked, they were talking with each other about everything that had taken place. As they talked, trying to make some kind of sense of the things that had happened, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. But recognition was withheld from their eyes. Jesus asked them, what are these things you're talking about as you are walking? They stopped in their, their tracks, a look of sad disbelief on their faces. One of them named Cleopas said to him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know about the things that have happened these past few days? He asked them, what things? They answered, about Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet, powerful in deed and words before God and the people. And our rulers and chief priests handed him over to judgment and they sentenced him to death and crucified him. And we were hoping he was the one to redeem Israel. And it's been three days now. Not only that, some of our women astounded us. They went to the tomb early this morning and didn't find his body there. They say they saw two angels who said he was alive. Others who were with us, they went to the tomb too and found it just as the women had said. He was not there. And he said to them, oh, you are foolish or slow to believe in your heart what the prophets have spoken. Didn't the Messiah have to suffer this to enter into his glory? And then, starting with Moses and going through all of the prophets, he explained to them everything in the scriptures concerning himself. And then, as they came near the village where they were headed, Jesus continued on as if he were going farther. But they urged him to stay with them, saying, it is getting on toward evening, the day is at its end. And so he went in and stayed with them. As it happened, when he was eating with them, he took the bread and blessed it and broke it and began to give it to them. And then their eyes were opened and they knew it was Jesus and he vanished from their sight. And they said to one another, didn't our hearts burn within us when he spoke with us on the road and, and opened the scriptures to us? And they got up at once and returned to Jerusalem. And when they got there, they found the 11 gathered with the rest. And they were all saying, it is true, he has risen. He appeared to Simon. And these two told them what had happened to them along the road and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread.